Welcome to our video about the production of millions of tons of pineapples around the world. Pineapple is not only a popular fruit loved for its great taste, but also an important source of income for many countries around the world. On this journey, we'll discover how farmers and the agricultural industry are working to produce millions of tons of pineapples each year. From breeding and cultivation to harvesting and processing, we'll delve into the diverse and complex world of pineapple production. Let's learn about the efforts behind bringing us fresh and nutritious pineapples every day. In the laboratory, workers are perfecting the production process for propagating pineapples using buds. Pineapple seed samples were monitored in glass jars at appropriate temperatures. After that, the farmer proceeds to plant. However, growing pineapples from shoots is a popular and effective method for creating new pineapple plants. Shoots should be about 20 to 30 centimeters long and take from the central part of the plant to ensure they are highly viable. Pineapples grow best in tropical environments that receive at least 40 inches of rain annually. The soil is rich in humus, loose, well-drained and have a low pH for optimal plant growth. After loosening the soil, they will cover it with a layer of plastic film to protect the soil and retain moisture. Place the shoot in the hole and bury it lightly in the soil so that the top of the shoot remains above the ground. Depending on growing conditions, plants are planted 0.5 to 2 feet apart in rows, spaced 2 to 4 feet apart at up to 65,000 plants per acre. The mist sprayer is used to water pineapple plants. Investing in large machinery like this will save time and achieve better results. When it comes to fertilizing the plants, they are weeding between the shoots with small tools or pulling them out by hand. Next is applying fertilizer in spring and summer to aid growth. Covering black nets to control weeds around pineapple plants helps reduce competition for water and nutrients, keeping pineapple plants in better conditions to grow. Pineapple is a perennial plant, producing two to three crops in approximately 32 to 46 months. New plants take about 18 months to bear fruit. Fruit can grow up to 12 inches in length and five to six inches wide, with each plant typically producing from one to three heads. Pineapples are harvested using both manual and semi-mechanized methods. Pineapple is a sharp and thorny fruit, so it requires careful and experienced harvesters. When the pineapple basket behind them is full, they will walk along the pineapple bed to the car. Pineapples are neatly stacked on the truck before being transported. Machines work at a slow speed, so farmers have time to evaluate whether the pineapple is big enough or not. This type of machine is designed specifically for pineapple harvesting needs. Once picked, it is then washed, waxed, and usually treated with a fungicide before sorting and grading. Pineapples need to be refrigerated quickly for optimal shelf life. If stored at 45 to 46 Fahrenheit, pineapples will continue to ripen and will last up to four weeks. 
After washing, pineapples are transported by conveyor belt through the drying stage. Workers are arranging pineapples into boxes and by size. The box is specially designed to preserve quality and keep the pineapple from being damaged during transportation. The process of producing dried pineapple at the factory usually includes many steps. First step is to remove the stem of the pineapple and wash it. This type of machine has the same operation as peeling pineapple by hand, but it would be much faster. Next, workers will cut off two ends of the pineapple, or cut them into smaller pieces depending on processing needs. Drying pineapple in an oven, the drying process retains the flavor and nutrients of the pineapple while removing the water. Sliced pineapple is put into the machine to the packaging stage. The finished product is contained in a very clean zip bag. After harvest, pineapples are gathered into the warehouse trays. When washing, the pineapple will not be rubbed too hard to avoid bruising. As the pineapple moves to the inclined part of the ice, high-pressure water jets wash away the residue. The washing process is performed by specialized machinery. Hygiene before processing is given top priority to ensure the health of its consumers. Pineapples are transported by conveyor belt to the cutting stage. Workers will put the pineapple into the machine to cut off the two ends. This will make the coring process later more convenient. It only takes a few seconds to remove the skin and core the pineapple. There will be remaining pieces of peel on both ends, and the workers will continue to peel off that excess. They will still be transported by conveyor belt to the next stage. Next, the pineapples are washed one last time. The preliminary processing stage is completed and the pineapple is put into the machine for cutting. The cutter helps split pineapple into small pieces very quickly. On the screen is the stage of preparing packaging for packaging. Each piece of fresh pineapple is put into the packaging and the process takes place quite quickly. To extend the shelf life of pineapple, modern lines and machinery are needed. If the packaging process meets standards, it will help facilitate transportation with little damage. tropical fruit, the packaging is designed quite appropriately. The Del Monte Gold brand you're seeing is the number one seller of pineapple honey in the world. Workers arrange each package neatly into boxes. Then, they divide it into small boxes for easy consumption. Packaging requirements will vary by customer segment and market. When the box is full, they proceed to cover the outside of the box with a layer of protective covering. Packaging labels must provide complete information about the product to consumers. The 
pineapple can be consumed fresh or eaten with savory dishes, such as chicken, ham, or beef. The average American consumes about 7.8 pounds of fresh pineapple in 2021. Canned pineapple is also widely available in the United States, although overall per capita canned fruit consumption decreased from 2000 to 2021. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. I hope my video is enough to meet what you're looking for. We always listen and absorb your suggestions to improve the content of our channel. If you find it interesting, please subscribe and comment below my video.